I mean, there are clearly some downsides to being a werewolf, but I think it would be cool. I want to be a werewolf. What is up, Netflix fans? Welcome back to my channel. Every weekend, I review the brand new show or movie on Netflix. This weekend, it's The Order Season 2. I need you in the comments. Were you a fan of Season 1? Were you a fan of the way that it ended? And are you looking forward to Season 2? Let's get right into it. So, in Season 2, at Belgrave University, the bad blood between werewolves and magicians reaches a breaking point until a greater evil threatens to destroy them all. So again, this is a spoiler-free review. I'm going to refrain from talking about certain things since the show did just come out today. But if you guys would like to talk a bit more, I may be willing to do that if you'd like to see it. So let me know by commenting and hitting that thumbs up button. But in terms of season two, let's talk about season one for just a second. I enjoyed elements of season one. I thought there was some work to do in terms of the script. And then you get to the end and that massive cliffhanger that fans just did not like. And I understand, right? You are being uh, forced to wait quite a while to see what that resolution was going to be. And it was just so out of the blue. That's what it felt like. So I get that sentiment for sure. But when season two starts, and as we progress into what the plot is this season, you see that they did that. Well, at least it feels like they did that strategically and for a reason, because without that event happening at the end of season one, the events that are set up in season two, it would be a lot more difficult to get there. That's how we'll put it without spoiling anything. So at the end of the day, I respect the decision, even though, again, it cut a lot of people off guard, but it did kind of work out in season two. And let's start off with this. I think this show is starting to find its groove. And while, again, I like certain elements of season one, I don't think I enjoyed it as much as the hardcore fans do. And I was holding out to see what season two was going to bring us. And while there are one or two characters within the season, big characters, that uh, didn't really feel like the screenwriters knew what they were going to do with them. And as we get to the latter half of the season, they don't feel as if they are building or growing as much as they need to. But we also get other characters coming to the forefront and we shine a light on stories that we never even expected in season one uh, to have in season two. And those were the stories for me and the fact that we're diving even more so into this lore and we're understanding now that, yes, there are threats along the way and we have one group of people going up against the other, but there's always someone else. There's always another person or group of people out there that's going to come in and cause trouble and stir things up. And that's, in my opinion, what made season two of The Order uh, pretty daggone entertaining. And I know a lot of people will watch this show, season one especially, and say, well, it's really cheesy. It's really over the top. It's kind of like Riverdale, but maybe even more cheesy. And I understand to a degree, but this show really knows what it is and what it wants to be. It knows its sense of humor, and I appreciate that. And even though it falls into certain tropes, it plays on those fantasy tropes. Hey, it's magicians versus werewolves. We understand what we are, and we even understand that we don't have the best CGI in the world. Look, you could tell in season one, the budget was there because there's a lot of effects but limited because the effects just weren't the best right well season two i do think they improve on that and so just to catch you up in season one we had jack morton who was accepted into belgrave university and he wanted to uh, get into the hermetic order of the blue rose which was a society where his father edward was a member so obviously things play out edward goes off the deep end he's wanting to sacrifice his son it gets a little hectic but uh, before the end of the season the big event that i was just talking about is the fact that the order uh, wipes the memories of the knights of saint christopher including jack and randall and hamish and lilith so as expected this season starts out with uh, no memory of anything magical and also, no memory of the fact that they are a werewolf, and each of them, they are being monitored by a member of the Order. Some of them are just being monitored, and others, well, there's magic being used against them to, I don't know, make them uh, feel a certain way about certain characters. So, a bit of treachery going on as we get throughout most of the show. And then as we progress through Season 2, we see new bonds formed and a bit of a revenge scheme at play here against one of these two groups. I don't want to say which one it is, but that's what was so interesting for me about this season is uh, the formulation of what the actual plot ends up being that kicks in a couple of episodes in. And then you get into those final two episodes and uh, it almost has a heist feel to it, but we're trying to rescue a certain character from impending doom. And that's the thing, even though... Uh, 
again, I say the word cheesy, I know some are going to get upset, but you have to admit, uh, some of these things, if the show didn't know what it was and it was trying to be overly serious about everything, these lines would otherwise fall completely flat. But the order doesn't take itself overly serious. And from that, you get some moments with the characters that don't feel maybe as real as they're trying to feel. And I, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think all of the performances worked. I won't point out which ones, but some of the line delivery and the dialogue felt a bit uh, awkward at times. But again, you're rooting for these relationships to play out. And not even just the romantic relationships, but friendships, right? Of course you have Jack and Alyssa. That was the crux of last season that carries over into this season. Played out in a very different way, obviously, from how season one ended, uh, but that is the main relationship. But then you have those other characters, such as Vera and, like I said, Randall. Selena, a character who has a very interesting story arc, all kind of finding themselves in the process, but also finding out that maybe what they believed in in the first place uh, wasn't all the way true, but also what they believed against others is something that you uh, you can't sit and hold so firm to your beliefs that you're not afraid to change. And I think that was the big theme of this season is you must be willing to do what's right, even though it's not quote unquote best for your people. And obviously we have one group in the Order, the other group in the Knights of St. Christopher, and uh, the interactions are not what you expect going into the season because it felt like all of the interactions between the two would just be this bloodthirsty rage. And that is the case, but they do find moments to settle down, allow the characters to have conversations, and I appreciate that. I appreciate some of those conversations. And uh, the quick, fast-paced, witty banter, the dialogue is one thing that I think a lot of people are going to fall in love with. If you're fans of this wild a genre and if you enjoy shows like this i mentioned riverdale uh, i'm excited to see what comes next now in terms of the ending of this season i don't think it's going to be as divisive as season one but it does plant the seeds for certain events. Overall, I think The Order Season 2 is an improvement on Season 1. Again, I'm normally not a guy that loves a show like this, but I like that this show just knows what it is. It sticks with the tone, and because of that, I think fans of Season 1, okay, if you didn't love Season 1, I don't know if you love Season 2, I think they're going to appreciate Season 2. So, as for my score, I'm going a 7 out of 10, a 70% for The Order Season 2. And if you enjoyed this review, like I said, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching this video. If you'd like to see more talk on the order, let me know down below. Uh, tomorrow, The Politician Season 2, a couple of movies and plenty of things this weekend. You guys are the best. I'll see you soon.